Hello everyone, welcome back to the Branchiopod Lab. Today, we're in Central Texas, exploring an exposed limestone bed, in search of fairy shrimps. This limestone has been naturally eroded by the flowing and flooding of the river, as well as soft rains that dissolve the calcium carbonate. Over time, this process creates grooves and potholes in the rock, which can serve as habitats for fairy shrimp. These pools in the carbonate rock vary in size and depth, which are crucial factors in determining whether they are optimal habitats for fairy shrimp. Additionally, the types of rocks and soil present can help predict what species might occur here. These potholes are likely to be alkaline due to the rock releasing carbonate and calcium ions. In this area of Texas, Streptocephalus tixanus is a common species that thrives in limestone environments. However, I had an unexpected find in the last pool I checked. We hopped from pool to pool, looking for any signs of movement. Many of these pools close to the river contain fish, likely because rising river levels connect these pools to the main river. These pools are not ideal for fairy shrimp, as they are defenseless against fish. In some pools, there are also large numbers of mosquito larvae and tadpoles. After searching several pools, we finally found one fairy shrimp, a male belonging to the genus Streptocephalus. Upon closer inspection, I confirmed it was indeed Streptocephalus texanus, as I had expected. I was surprised to find it all alone in one pool, but this fairy shrimp was absolutely adorable and not too camera shy. I took some underwater shots to give you a better look at them in their crystal clear habitat. I held them for a short bit, but the water was just about freezing, so I'm sure this little filler won't have much longer in this pool, as the nights get colder. Determined to find more, I continued walking alongside the river, taking more potholes. I was successful in finding a female individual of the same species. She was quite camera shy, but right next door in another pool, I hit the jackpot. There were several fairies from swimming in a shallow pool. These were also Streptocephalus tectonics. Getting these guys on camera was a bit more challenging as they darted around. This species is commonly known as the Greater Plains Fairy Shrimp. It is found in a wide range of regions throughout the United States. Here in Texas, they are prevalent except in the eastern parts of the state, where the soil naturally contains less calcium. These fairy shrimp are precious with green and yellow and red hues on their bodies, and sometimes red banding influenced by the temperature. They are quite docile, swimming in a stationary pattern and only darting away in the presence of danger. After checking a few more potholes, I found a larger one teeming with fairy shrimp. Upon closer inspection, I noticed an unexpected species coexisting with Streptocephalus tixonis. While it's not uncommon for this species to occur with it, it's rare to find them in this particular habitat. Some fairy shrimp had a green-yellow tint, while others had a blue-white tint. These bluish individuals are Streptocephalus cii, a species common throughout the eastern portion of Texas. I placed some in a plastic container for a better view. In this closer shot, you can see the forked tails or sarcopods of the male fairy shrimp, giving it the common name, the spiny-tailed fairy shrimp. You can also see the female, who is slightly blue in coloration, with large visible eggs in her brood pouch. In the corner, there's a pair of Greater Plains fairy shrimp. If you look closely, you'll notice that the males do not have forked tails, and the females have a red banding towards the tip of their brood pouch, which helps distinguish between the two species. Streptocephalus celi is quite an eye-catching species. It's found throughout the eastern United States, and if you spot it in the western part, it's likely its counterpart. 
Streptocephalus colorado dentis, which is essentially its identical cousin. The spinal-tailed fairy shrimp is probably the most common species of fairy shrimp in the United States, and it often co-occurs with other fairy shrimp species or branchiopods. To recap, we have two unique species, Streptocephalus tixanus, known as the Greater Plains fairy shrimp, and Streptocephalus sealae, known as the Spiny-tailed fairy shrimp. You can identify these species by looking at their second antenna. Streptocephalus tixanus has a protrusion, while Streptocephalus sealae does not. Furthermore, S. sealae has a forked tail, while S. tixanus does not. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching, and if you want to support my channel, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Brankyopod content.